What school wouldn't be complete without a giant, scary-looking, disinfecting robot? That's what Ubtech Adibot is here for. We're taking a look at this giant robot right now. So we know Ubtech from making robots. In the past, they're all about consumer bots that can walk and do yoga with you. This year, they're focusing on schools and small businesses with the Adibot, which is a giant cylinder, kind of reminds me of a monolith. It goes into classrooms or rooms, roughly 900 to 1,000 square feet, and then it starts disinfecting with UVC light, designed obviously to kill the coronavirus so it's timely. Now, you could get this for your home, but it's pretty expensive. The Adibot has two models, the A for autonomous and the Adibot S for stationary. The autonomous one is gonna cost $40,000. The stationary one is $20,000, so a little bit of a steep ask. But Ubtech is comparing it to industrial models that can cost upwards of a hundred grand and really trying to push it for schools or small businesses that might not be able to afford the giant industrial model. Schools and small businesses will also be able to lease either model like a car for a two or three year period without having to stomach that upfront cost. Okay, so let's dive into what the device actually does. It has an RGB sensor on the front to act as a camera, to sense if someone's coming into the room so it can stop doing its cleaning program. It's using UVC so it can actually be harmful if you're in the room with it while it's working. It also has motion sensors all along the top rim and it comes with an ordinary looking caution sign that you can put in front of the door that talks to the robot via Bluetooth. So if somebody moves that caution sign to come into the room, it'll shut down automatically as well as if it detects anybody moving. It has eight of those lamps that cast the light to disinfect an area and it will supposedly work in roughly 100 seconds if you're talking about a thousand square foot class. You'll be able to control the Adibot with an app or with a remote, and in the app you'll be able to see status reports of when it was cleaning and how long it cleaned for. Ubtech will be available for support to help your school figure out how long it needs to operate in a room of any given size. The autonomous unit navigates with LiDAR, but Ubtech will want to send out a technician when you're first getting it set up to help it work through the floor mapping of your school. So the Adibot is certainly a cool and relevant idea, but 20 to $40,000 is still a lot, even for schools and small businesses, and UVC light isn't a catch-all. And so there's still gonna be a lot of work required from somebody on site to make sure everything gets properly disinfected. Plus you have a scary looking robot in your school that students will maybe be a little bit intimidated by. Maybe after this is all over, you can repurpose this giant monolith as a hall monitor. I certainly think that would get the kids running to their classrooms quickly. But it feels like a big expense for something that won't be foolproof and will still require a lot of hands-on effort to keep everything disinfected. Nevertheless, twenty to forty thousand dollars is significantly less than the one hundred grand plus industrial models that this is competing with. So the Ubtech Adibot could be the perfect solution for certain schools and small businesses, in addition to regular cleaning. Thanks for watching. For much more from CES, stay tuned to CNET. For forty grand, that robot better learn how to love. <laughs> Could it learn to love you? <laughs> um, or is that, is that like part of the hundred thousand dollar? Like to love Andrew, you've got but to, to love <laughs> we need industrial grade love. The industrial grade, we got to get through. Uh, there's too much grime.